everybody, it's Ryan the Beast 29 here. I uh, got a new pickup in today. Uh, I actually had to go pick it up. Uh, they didn't deliver it to my door for some reason. So, uh, yeah, I don't have an unboxing video, so I'm just going to show them. So, here they are. They are graph skates. Uh, they are custom pro return uh, Rick DiPietro skates. Uh, Y'all probably gonna put in the comments. Uh, you probably break your leg or something because DiPietro is known for getting injuries and all that. But really, it doesn't matter. There's some pretty sick skates. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they are because again they are pro return, so I'm not sure what exactly he custom ordered because skates are kind of hard to tell. But um, it's got white. It's got the white. They're G50s. Uh, yeah, the lighting's kind of bad, but it's got like all the rectangle stuff and whatever that G50s usually have. Um, and then it's got the white graphic. And then it's got orange stitching around the whole boot. Um, and then it's got Rick DiPietro's number uh, 39. And. Uh, blue and um, orange and then on the tongue it's got his initials or his last name initials uh, DP for DiPietro so yeah there some pretty nice looking skates um, and it's also also it's got this black uh, leather uh, tendon guard um, I actually noticed most uh, pros that have graph skates, of course, they can get their stuff custom. Um, I've seen most of them get these black leather uh, tendon guards, so I'm guessing this is just for better durability or something. Like it stays better than like the regular white one, because it's noticeably noticeably stiffer. I don't know, it just feels a little better. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you all kind of angles. It's got a white tongue with like a little black strip coming up, which looks really nice. And they're skates, so you can't really see them. Uh, I don't wear socks or anything, so you can see like a little bit of the back and uh, right here, but that's about it. Um, and they do have the old graph cowling on them. Um, I'm probably just going to keep the old graph cowling. Uh, they feel exactly the same as the new ones, pretty much. It's just uh, they shave the cowling down a lot. Um, but I'm going to shave all this off, so that will definitely cut off some weight. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's got the same graph mesh, black mesh liner in there that I really, really liked. Uh, I already had G50s before. I had my Carey Price skates, and uh, they're probably one of the, my most favorite skates I've ever had, so... Yeah, so here's the other one, same exact thing. Um, yeah, and if you're wondering if you have graph skates and you have this cowling, uh, definitely, definitely you want to shave this off. Uh, this is for the overdrive blades that are now illegal in the NHL, or most pro leagues at least. Um, and pretty much that screw right there. Uh, it's called overdrive blade, and it's pretty much just like a little blade that kind of sticks out right here. And it gives you like a better edge so you can push off it and keep your edge. Um, but yeah, so I don't use the overdrive blade. So I'm just going to completely shave this off. Uh, so I get, and you can shave it down a lot to where it's almost like the Bauer uh, 1100 cowling uh, attack angle. So yeah. Um, so that's about it. Uh, really six skates. And I'll have lots of more stuff coming in soon. Uh, we'll get a couple pair of pads coming in, uh, so definitely uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.